um, 10.2 is called finding arc measures. Um, before we get to arc measures, you have to know what a central angle is, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's an angle where the vertex is at the center of a circle. Okay, so um, if I'm using this circle right here, then a central angle might look something like that. Okay, that is a central angle. Um, so I could say angle A is a central angle. Okay, um, I'm going to call um, these points B and C. Okay, and then I'm going to put point D somewhere out here. It doesn't really matter where. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So I want to talk about um, this part of the circle that I'm going to highlight here. Um, this is called an arc. Um, so you could call this arc BC. Okay, or if you wanted to use a, just a symbol for that instead, you could just write BC with a little arc like that. Uh, um, and notice I'm not shading in the, uh, the, the slice of, of the circle there. It's just the part on the outside of the circle. So it's kind of like part of the circumference. Okay, so um, this particular arc would be a minor arc. And that just means it's less than half of the circle. Okay. Um, the rest of the circle that I didn't highlight, I'm going to highlight in a different color now. Okay, so if I'm talking about this blue part, um, if I just called that arc BC, it's a little confusing. So if you say arc BC, usually we're talking, if you just use two letters, you're usually talking about a minor arc. And if I want to um, talk about um, um, this is going to be a major arc because it's going to be more than half of the circle, um, the way you can do that is by using three letters. So this would be arc um, BDC. Okay. Um, so what you do is you start at, at one of the ends of the arc, and I have to then pass point D before I get to C. You could also call this CDB, that would be the same thing. But I know I'm starting at B, passing D, and ending up at C. Okay, so you could also just use this little abbreviation so you don't have to write out the word arc. Okay, and like I was just saying a second ago, this is a major arc, and that's any arc that is um, more than half of the circle. Okay, and then if you have an arc that's exactly half of the circle, um, it's called a semicircle. So over here on this other circle, if you just draw in a diameter that goes through that center, that's going to cut the uh, circle into halves. So um, yeah, either one of these halves would be considered a semicircle. Now, a semester is half of a school year, and a semicircle is half of a circle. Okay, so there's just a little vocab there. Okay, um, now I want to talk about the measure of an arc. Um, the measure of the of an arc is just the same as the measure of the central angle that cuts it out. Okay, so um, I'm going to draw in um, points A, B, C, and D just like I did above. So I'm going to, um, A can be the, the center of the circle. Um, I'll put B and C, something like this. And I'm not measuring anything out here, so if yours looks a little different, that's okay. Um, but I've got those points just like I did above. Okay, so um, if I have um, the measure of this angle here, um, let's say that this is 70 degrees. Okay, 
So then the measure of the arc, well, I'm just looking, oh, here's arc BC. And then that's the angle that cuts it out. So the measure of, uh, of arc BC is just 70 degrees. It's just as simple as that. Okay, so then if I'm looking for BDC, well, that's this arc, right? And it, the, the angle's not measured there, or the, the measure of the angle isn't, um, isn't noted there, but I know the whole circle is 360 degrees, so I can just take 360 and subtract out the 70 degree chunk. Okay, and that's going to come out to 290 degrees then. Okay, and I'm off screen. All right, so there we go. Okay. Pretty straightforward if you know what to look for. Okay. Um, this ne next example, a uh, survey is conducted to see what types, what type of phones students use. Okay. So I'm going to cut this um, into a pie chart. So I'm going to put points A, B, and C um, just kind of spread out. And then I'm going to connect each one of those points to the center, something like this. Okay. Um, and let's say that this represents iPhone. Um, this can be Android down here. And this can be other. I don't even know what the other would be. Flip phone or something. Okay. Um, so let's say that um, the results came back in that 48% of the students use an iPhone, 32% um, use Android, and that would leave 20% in the last category. I hope that adds up to 100. I think it does. Okay. Um, okay. So, yes, it does. All right. So then um, the question um, is to find the measure of the arcs, all right? So first we're looking at arc AB, all right? So arc AB is this arc, right? I know it's always going to be the minor arc. You could go from A to B that way, but then that would be a major arc. So there's my minor arc. And um, the common mistake is people will just look at the 48 and they'll say, oh, it's 48% of the circle. So that means that this is 48 degrees, and that's incorrect. Okay, that is wrong. Because if you're saying that that's 48 degrees, then you're really saying that there's 100 degrees in that circle, which isn't the case. There's 360 degrees, okay? So it's going to be 48% of the 360 degrees. Okay? So there are a number of ways that you can find percentages. Just to make it quick though, you can take in your calculator, you can multiply 0. 0.48 times 360. Okay, and here's my calculator. 0. 0.48 times 360. Oops. And that comes out to 172.8. Okay, and that would be the measure of that angle then. And that's also the measure of the arc. Okay. All right, why don't you try um, AC? You can pause the video if you like. So I'm going to start now. AC is right there, so I can see that's going to be 20% of 360 degrees. And that should come out to three to 72 degrees. I'm just going to double check. Okay. Yeah, 72 degrees. Okay. All right. That's that page. I'm going to move on to the next page. Okay, next up we've got congruent circles. So we've had all sorts of con congruent figures over the course of the year. And circles can be congruent as well. So congruent means that they're going to have the same... 
they're going to be the same size and same shape. Well, all circles are the same shape. Um, so really, it just means congruent circles are going to be the same size. Okay, and um, the most common way to tell the size of a circle is with the radius. So if they have the same radius, then they're going to be the same size and then they're congruent. If they had the same diameter, that would work too, um, or circumference, any of those, or area for that matter. But uh, usually it's marked with the radius. Okay, so let's say that this is circle A. Usually we, we name circles by their centers, and this can be circle B. And if we know that this has a radius of four, and so does this, as long as they're the same units, let's just say that they are, then uh, those are congruent circles. Um, so you can say that you could write out circle A is congruent to circle B, or if you wanted to use some symbols, you could uh, use this little symbol. So that's supposed to represent circle A, and it's going to be congruent to circle B. Okay. All right, so that brings me to the next examples. Are the following pairs of circles congruent? Well, I need to put some given info in. Um, oh, the following pairs of arcs congruent. Um, so congruent arcs, I forgot to write that in here, so maybe I'll do that up here. They're exactly what you think they're going to be. So congruent arcs um, have the same um, measure in congruent circles or the same circles. Okay, yeah, I forgot to put that in the, the notes there. Okay, um, so I'm going to put some given info with uh, some black pen in here. So I'm going to just make a little slice over here, and I'm just going to say that that's a 20 degree angle. And my radius there is 3. Okay. And there's my second circle. So um, are these um, arcs congruent? Well, I can see that the angle the, that cuts out both of those arcs are the same. So that means the arc measures are the same. Not only that, but they both have a radius of 3. So the circles are the same. So um, it has the same measure in congruent circles. So my answer is going to be yes. And I can say, yeah, arc AB is congruent to arc CD. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to put in some more given info on this next example. Okay, um, and you know, they do have the same measure, so got one of the two requirements fulfilled, but the radius isn't the same, even though it, it appears to be the same, it's marked one's three and one's four, so that's going to be a no. Um, so in this example, those are not congruent, and if you're asked for a reason, the circles aren't congruent, so the arcs aren't going to be congruent. And that's it. Yeah. So um, I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.